beautiful people. This is Blue Nola. I'm in a building with another reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So, child, this is a relationship that has been puzzling me. So I decided I'm going to do a reading on it, right? Something light and fun today. So Keisha Cole and Antonio Brown, right, the football player, former football player, um, they've been hanging around a little bit, I guess, allegedly doing music together, supposedly doing music together, but obviously that has turned into something else, right? A little bit more on the romantic side. So yesterday she took her social media to talk about how she missed him so much. And then I'm thinking to myself, Antonio Brown, isn't he with somebody else, right? He's always in something. But anyway, okay, Keisha, here we go. So then today he takes his social media on his Instagram and he posted, I guess, a video of her dancing with his initials tattooed on her lower back. So I'm like, okay, this has turned into something for real, for real. And he says in his caption, you ain't pimping until you hitting an R&B diva. Now, child, Keisha, Keisha, you listen to Keisha? You're 40, I guess she's 41 years old now, right? 39, 40? Baby, if a man ain't said, if a man is saying you ain't pimping until you hitting an R&B diva, he, <laughs> is he serious about you? A man that is serious about you, who values you, who thinks the world of you, who wants to see a future with you, is not going to make those type of statements. So I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, this is a train wreck that I'm, all, I'm here to see. I'm here to see what's going to happen. So let's just jump into this reading and just like, let's start with this. We know she likes him. She says she missed him, right? Uh, yep. And she has the queen of cups in her energy, right? Fought against her better judgment though, right? So that says, okay, I like him. I like him. I like him. And I'm going to be honest. He likes her too. Okay. That queen of cups is in this energy. And it's talking about how she feels like, okay, he's seen her as a good person. He likes her energy. He likes her vibe. They have a connection. Actually, that's what it talks about against her better judgment. So let's look into the energy around whether or not this is going to materialize into anything significant. Um, I think his baby's mother did confirm because somebody was like, what's going on? Are you guys still together? And she confirmed that they are not together. But then she also threw some shade and saying, you know, she better be concerned why he wrote that type of caption. And I was saying 100% I agree. So give me the energy around Antonio Brown. What does he really want with Keisha Cole, right? Besides hitting an, an R&B diva. Hmm. say this there is an attraction there there's some fun there they have a sexual chemistry together if they're having sex if they claim it right they do have the double card sexual energy is there they do have the three of cups having fun together there is a connection there it's fun right now guys these people are just having fun that three of cups is them having a good damn time this is a friendship card that turns obviously into something much more that's what that talks about right so just celebrating life having fun having a connection you know, this is them too. I can see them totally eating and drinking and just chilling and vibing, right? That's what that talks about. The sexual card is coming in through here or an attraction card is coming in through here. And that talks about having a weakness for AB. What? Okay. All right. This man must be throwing it down with his little chocolate self. I don't know, child. Okay. He being too, too much for me. I can't, you know, I'm just like, okay. So anyway, that's what it talks about. Now, there is a connection here. It does feel friendly. It does feel fun. They're having a good time. There is a sexual energy there. When I say the sexual chemistry is good, it's really good, right? So if they're not having sex now, that means they could have possibly have sex in the future. They have sexual energy here, okay? Bottom line. Now, the other part of that is what? AB is a football player, but he likes to align himself with people in the business who can create opportunities for him. And guess what? There's a buzz. So here in this energy that does show that they were working on something or they are working on something. And this is also, let me say this, both of them liking the, liking the attention. Both of them liking the attention. So he like, he's attached to her, liking the attention that he's getting. And she's attached to him, liking the attention that, that she's getting. Bottom line, at the end of the day, these are two adults 
that are having a good time with each other, right? And loving the attention while they were working on something. They were definitely working on something because they have the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. And it shows that they definitely were working on something. And at the end of the day, it still talks about, even in her Queen of Pentacles energy, he was paying her attention, a lot of playful energy, um, you know, and almost meeting her needs, child. You know what I'm saying? Meeting her needs. So Keisha is feeling herself right now with that A B that A B vibe. She's feeling herself right now, okay? The only thing I'm seeing in this hangman is spirit is just saying, girl, you do know you mess with A B, right? You do know who you're dealing with. So just make sure you remember that. Don't get too lost in the shuffle. Because with that hangman in reverse is somebody who can as easily as they can be into you as easily as they could drop you and that's what that energy talks about i don't know why i didn't straighten all this out before i got on this video but that's okay let's look and see so right now they like each other they're having a good time there's a lot of celebratory energy there's a lot of connecting with each other um friendly energy there's a lot of there's some sexual energy here there's some energy on working with a project on on something um so there's a lot of fun energy do they have the potential to have something significant spirit give me the energy a new beginning oh hi the empress the hierophants the moon card, the page of wands, and then the ten of wands. This, let me say this. I can see him doing a lot of high and dry stuff. I can see him doing a lot of inconsistent stuff. I can see him being inconsistent and her feeling like she's holding the bag. So if she continues on him, just know that she's going to have a lot of moments where he's going to make commitments. He's going to make some plans that he may not keep. Or things may change at the last minute, or something like that. There's some. This moon card is in here as well, and that moon card is just telling you he may gaslight her sometimes, right? Um, I would say take this relationship for what it is. It's fun. It's new. It may not be long term, right? That's what it talks about. It may not be long term, but have fun. Be careful as to not get caught into any pregnancy situation with that page of cups. I don't know what her. I don't know if she had a C-section. What would I say? What am I saying? C-section if she had a um, tubes tied or whatever with the last baby. But that page of cups is also talking about. Make sure you watch that. Make sure you watch even what you discuss because people like to repeat. But I don't see a future with this. <laughs> I don't see the long-term energy. Especially it, it has that 10 of wands energy. And that 10 of wands is talking about, you know, there are times that it's going to be hard, right? But he does kind of like her. He does kind of like her. But he has unpredictable energy. What do you do with somebody who has unpredictable energy? No, you know, no sense of real direction. Disregard for the little consequences. Um, can you know this under the, the Knight of Swords in reverse can also represent the fool in a lot of ways. He got the fool twice here. So you, as carefree and fun as it is right now, he may not give you what you really necessarily need in terms of a real relationship. Look at what he's done his baby's mother back and forth. Right, a person is true to who they are. Um, it's short lived in this energy, right? And he's going to have other people that he's dealing with. He is the five of pentacles in his energy in reverse. And that talks about he may have other situations, right? That's what it talks about. Other than that, it definitely feels short lived. But I say, right it while you last, right it while it last, child. Right it while it lasts. That's, a, that's it. And that's all. But he does show up liking her, y'all. You know, let me say this. Couples, just like I said with Tay Diggs and April Jones, and now they're engaged. It's on the people, right? Things are not set in stone. Nothing is set in stone. People can start off one way and then over time, the relationship could evolve into something else if they start getting grounded. The problem with situationships is sometimes it's hard to pull it into a real relationship. The way you start sometimes is the way you finish. When he writes, you ain't pimping. Why are you pimping with somebody you like? Unless you hitting an RBD. But why are you on social media with somebody that you like talking in that manner? That means he's not serious about her. Hopefully, she takes it with a grain of salt and don't get too serious in it. Give me the energy around Keisha. What does she want with AB? You know what I mean? Right now, it just feels friendly. Like friends having a good time. But what does she expect out of him? Does she want anything tangible with him? That's the, that's the real question. Is she on social media talking about she, she miss him? Child, let me just say this. In the next few months, she'll be singing a different tune. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
She'll be like, I hate him. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but that's true in a lot of ways. In the next few months, that'll be like, oh, I can't, right? You're dealing with somebody who's unpredictable in his life, with his relationships with other people, um, in his career. He's unpredictable. That nine of pentacles, two of cups, temperance in reverse. He's going to want his freedom. Is going to cause challenges. You, he's gonna want to be back. He wanna. He's gonna be moving into into other stuff. You don't want to have a love hate relationship with somebody. So I would just say this: they're friends, and it feels like friendships. The friendship that could turn into something like a situationship or friends with benefits or kicking it. Um, but it's on the two people. If they want something more, that'll be what they decide. But this feels very short lived to me. Okay. This is Chris Blue Nola Tarot. Um, Thank you so much for watching this read. I thought this was so funny. I'm like, Keisha, Gold, and A.B. How does this baby's mother feel about it? Because she was like, she better be worried about why he writing them kind of captions. And then Keisha even posted the second time you posted this, A.B., but the captions changed. Don't be mad at me no more, babe. I said I apologize. So she wants everybody to know she's with him, chill. Look at the energy around the baby's mother. What does she think about this situation? Okay, AB's moving on, and she also says, child, short-lived, it's going to be short-lived, you just don't know, you don't have a clue, and he's going to always go back to his baby mama, this is what it talks about, so this is another thing you have to watch out for, through everything that he goes through, he keeps going back with her, and that's what that talks about, he's going to keep going back towards her to make a connection, so just know that um they're not together right now look third party energy he will always be going back and forth with that baby's mother so that's another thing you gotta watch out for that because that's when she get on social media all she had to do is say first of all she ain't had nothing to say why are you making a statement on what he's talking about with another person even if somebody was tagging you i'd be like i wouldn't even be answering that but even if you're going to answer, just say he's free to, he's a free agent. He's free to do what he wants to do. That's another thing. He put free agent. So here are a few things that make you know that he's not serious. He says, pimping. Why are you pimping with somebody that you like, that you want to get to know? He said that he hit her, which means I'm just, right now I'm kicking it. And then he wrote an agent. He wrote free agent, which means free agent means I'm free. I'm not attached to nobody. And then he going to put keep pimping, like he going to keep pimping them hoes. He wrote a lot of key words just in that one little statement, that, that little caption that tells you a lot about what his mind is. He may be having fun. He may like her, find her sexy, attractive. They have a good little connection. But he's saying he pimping, that he hitting her, that he free. he's a free agent, and he going to keep pimping. Pay attention. Stay woke. All right, guys. This is Chris Blue Nola Tarot. This is a quick read. I told y'all I'm going to be quick today. Take care. Stay blessed. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're on our way to 25,000, guys. I'm super excited. I am super excited. So make sure you are subscribing to the channel. Our next goal will be 50K, and then we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it moving, y'all. Oh, what's this up? What the Keisha, Keisha, cold, cold, cold. Girl, look, I don't know what you're going to do, but have your fun. Listen, there's nothing wrong with getting it in with a sexy, chocolate, wild man. Trust and believe you, me. As long as you keep it in perspective, don't get yourself caught up. Don't hit your head. Know who you're dealing with. There's nothing wrong with a little love, all right? Never knew what I was missing. That's my girl. I love Keisha Cole. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.